you guys enjoyed the last Hidden Secrets video for Roblox Door so much that you know we had to make another, another one. one. Here are 30 more Hidden Secrets in Roblox Doors. Smash like, subscribe, grab some popcorn, and let's get right on with it. Number one, when it comes to near the end of the game, solving the circuit breaker puzzle, you can literally make as many mistakes as you want since figure will only break the door down once you complete it. So don't worry if you make a thousand mistakes on it. Number two, you know how some of those rooms have these locked gated doors that are only able to be opened by pulling a lever in a random basement? Well, it was rumored that they were going to make it even harder and hide the levers in tighter areas such as inside wine crates and barrels. Glad they didn't do that, that would literally take forever. Number three, more of a fun fact, but when you start the game out of the elevator, this is not the first room that you play in Roblox doors. They call this room the reception room, and it's considered as being room zero, technically making it the first room in the whole entire game. Number four, the reception room where everyone spawns into does contain this interactive bell on top of a desk. If you press this bell too many times very quickly, you can actually break it. Number 5, if you're able to do the Seek Chase glitch by hiding in the corner, you're actually able to become Seek and chase after him. I guess that means you're the entity now, believe it or not. And an extra little secret, you're still able to loot from these rooms, so if you want to do that glitch, you can definitely do so. Number 6, what's even more stranger is that if you go back a couple of rooms while performing the Seek Chase glitch, you are able to encounter the void of the unloaded rooms in the back. If you fall through this void, you may witness some really weird stuff like all the arms that you're able to run past and some random hidden lanterns. Talk about nightmares, man. Once you fall through, you'll be transported back to the correct room with no health loss, which is pretty great. Number seven, many people don't notice this, but just outside the door, you can notice a bunch of floating pieces of wood that was supposed to be used from the bridge. It is said that a supernatural presence is outside of the hotel, locking you in and forcing you to go through the hotel in the process. Now who could this supernatural presence be? We'd have to figure that one out in a future update. Number 8, sometimes when you join into a new server, this message appears in the Roblox chat saying to look behind you. It also happens when you press F9 on keyboard or type in slash console in the Roblox chat, bringing up the developer console. No, this doesn't mean Screech is behind you in the lobby, it's where the code look behind you comes from which grants you an extra 10 knobs. Number 9, the paintings in Roblox doors does have many references such as this one titled the last pizza party. This one is a reference to The Last Supper, drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. One of the developers is openly a Christian, which does explain some of these references in the game. Number 10, this one is titled Street Light. We can actually see a strange shadowy figure underneath a street lamp. Could this actually have been the entity shadow? It could be a possibility. Number 11, the Pirate Cove painting, though looks really cool, is yet another reference, this time to one of Lightning Splash's, one of the developers of Doors' other games called Ragdoll Universe. This was one of the maps that you can play in the shoot 'em up styled game. Number 12, inside the lobby, if you stand right by the specific closed door, you can hear the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 ambient sound, which kinda sounds like this. Maybe the developers are fans of the game, or maybe the puppets are secretly hiding behind the door. Who even knows? Number 13, yet another painting, but this one looks pretty generic, and at first, you'd think it's random Roblox avatar heads, but it's another reference to Lightning Splash's Ragdoll Universe game. Basically, they are different skins that you could have bought within the game. Number 14, also, doesn't this painting look pretty familiar, right? It's a direct reference to the meme called, Hold up, aren't you Nathaniel B? Number 15, very rarely and once you die in Roblox doors, when you press return to lobby, there is a low chance that an image of Drip Goku will show up as it comes with a vine boom effect. The chances of this are unknown, but apparently it doesn't happen often. Number 16, one of the achievements, which includes the entity eyes, its achievement description does state, last chance to look at me. 
This is actually a reference to Face Off, which is a Breaking Bad episode. I guess that confirms the developer's love for Breaking Bad. Number 17, once you beat door 50 and get past figure, you are awarded with a shh achievement, which does say to be careful not to make a sound. Of course, they had to drop a We Are Number One reference, they literally sing that right in the song. Number 18, this one should be a no-brainer, but in case if you're living under a rock, this exquisite painting of the emotional man. Yeah, I'm just going to put this up here and you guys can put 2 plus 2 together. Number 19, on the same topic of math, the painting Judgment Day does seem a bit odd, but it's actually a direct reference to the 9, 9 plus 10 eight. equals 21 meme. 21? If you replace the numbers as the date of 9, 10, 21, it's known as Judgment Day. The more you know. Number 20, you all know Glitch's badge and how it looks all distorted and weird, right? Well dig this, they got that image from this video tweet that was posted by one of the developers. Now that's what I call a pose. Number 21, for those who can never get past door 50, there's actually a slim chance of getting the courtyard room between the doors 70 and 80. This is the only room where you can go outside of the hotel and it offers some relaxation and peace in order to catch a break from the action. You can also notice a big statue that is supposed to represent the guardian of the hotel. Number 22, most of you have definitely noticed this white painting on the wall literally looks like nothing, right? It's actually a reference to a painting that was also shown in the show called Daredevil. No disrespect, but it looks like a piece of a tile if you ask me. Number 23, everybody loves getting past Rush, but when you've obtained the out of my way achievement, the I'm walking here part of the description is definitely a reference to a line from the film Midnight Cowboy. Number 24, of course the lobby never actually looked like this in the original version of Roblox Doors. Only OGs will remember this screenshot of the old version of the lobby as it featured free carpet textures and older skins. Number 25, Glitch is known to always show up whenever players are falling behind from the pack, but Glitch also shows up sometimes randomly whenever a room fails to generate or even load, sometimes teleporting players past several rooms. If only he could instantly bring you straight to door 100. Number 26, Timothy can actually be found within the lobby of the game right on the corner of the door arch near the leaderboard. Number 27, pretty weird, but if Glitch teleports a player outside of the library at door 50, the music will continue playing for the whole game for that person. Number 28, if you decide to use a revive and somehow died again within 15 seconds of reviving, you will not lose your revive, though you won't be able to respawn again. Number 29, you can actually receive a free revive in the game if you join the L Splash group on Roblox, which is another way to get them for free other than the code. Number 30, there was a glitch where people were able to run fast for the whole game if the player far in front of them left the game, but apparently that has been fixed. And number 31, those who don't like and subscribe will never get past to 100 and beat the game. Don't risk it and goodbye.